It's back, the return of the prestigious Learfield IMG College Directors Cup, honoring college sports excellence across all competitive divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow along with L Directors Cup on Twitter or online to see which schools will be taking home a first place trophy in June for their season long success. Learfield IMG College Directors Cup, a premier institutional award jointly launched in 1993 by USA Today and NACTA. Holloway steps in, redirected, Pelton Bice kick save made to Brower. Here's Gorlicky down low left, Caulfield scores! Well, Tony, you're uh, about a week from your first game. Um, you know, how's it look? And, you know, you've been together actually since since July. Um, your first official practice was November 1st. So how's it going so far? Everything's great. I mean, uh, I feel, uh, you know, the guys have worked so hard. They've waited so long and to only be, you know, a week away from playing a game. Uh, it just, it's fun coming to the rink knowing that they finally get to play against another team. And uh, practices have gone well. Um, our guys, uh, I, I can't tell you how proud of, of them I am because of how they've uh, followed the protocol. They've done everything they could on their end to try to uh, remain healthy and set the example, um, you know. And, and so that, that part's been all really good. And, I, and they, they want to play. And that's they, they've made a big commitment to trying to stay healthy as a group. Uh, the captains have done a phenomenal job of leading the way that way. And, and uh, you know, so we get seven days till we get to play a game. And, and uh, you know, with the way things have gone and with all the questions about, uh, well, we're not sure what, you know, when the season's going to start or how many games you're going to play, you know, I finally get the opportunity to play. Uh, you know, the practices have cranked it up to another level. They know they're playing games now. And, and uh, so that part's all been a lot of fun to watch. Could you imagine back in the 80s, being a student athlete at the University of Wisconsin in the middle of a pandemic with virtual classes? No, I mean, nobody, I mean, this, for, I, I know, and just from a personal standpoint, you know, I've never been faced with such a challenge over this length of time of trying to stay optimistic, um, trying to be positive as far as, you know, showing the players, um, you know, that you face a little adversity, you got to remain strong to, you know, being upbeat and spirited and, you know, confident that someday things are going to get back to the, the way, uh, you know, we hope they would. So, so I think that part's been really challenging. It really has. And, and, uh, um, but I, I love the fact that our university and our athletic department gave us the opportunity uh, to come back here early to, to be with each other as a team, uh, to kind of have each other to go through this together. Because I think had, you know, we've been, you know, put in a position where we weren't able to practice, we weren't able to work out, we weren't able to meet as a group, I think it would have been really, really challenging and hard for all of us, myself included. So, so having us be able to do this together, I think has really helped us all. Um, I think we've grown together as a group um, and, you know, um, so that, that part of it for me is, is you know, I guess, I guess rewarding from the standpoint that we've been able to battle through this together as a group. And, and, uh, and now we're, we're getting back, you know, on the ice to play games. Yeah. You mentioned your captains, uh, Ty Emerson, the junior defenseman from Eau Claire, is your captain. And then your assistant captains are all seniors, Tyler Inamoto, a defenseman, Ty pelton Bice, and Tarek Baker, a couple of local kids. That's a pretty good group. Yeah, it's, we'd made that for you, so you wouldn't be able to get anybody tie, 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 and tar. I think that's pretty easy. To remember those? Yeah, that's easy. That's easy. They've been they've been fantastic. I, I mean, think about how challenging it is for them as leaders, you know, to take over uh, the leadership group, and and have to deal with with all the things you, you have to deal with. Uh, um, I, I think they've been outstanding. They've held the guys together. They've held them, you know. To, to a different standard of, of, you know, not only are we trying to get ready for season, we're trying to, to help each other get through a really tough time. And that, you got to, you know, like I said earlier, how proud I was of them, that, that group in particular on what they've done to, to have us, uh, you know, feel really good about heading into the season. Um, and, you know, I think that the, uh, when the puck drops next week, um, you know, just leadership that we, uh, the group that we have will hopefully set the example for how we're going to play all year. Yeah, you know, expectations were so high last year, and uh, you know, a few players have moved on. Both your senior goaltenders and, and Daniel Lebedev elected to turn pro. So did Keandre Miller and and Alex Turcott. But you bring back uh, some really good talent. You look up front, Tony, as a head coach who on the bench is coaching the forwards and and uh, sending out certain lines at any given time. You got a lot of 
good pieces to, to move around in that puzzle, don't you? We do. I really like our team. And last year, uh, you know, I, I talked to the group about this too. We were probably a, a flashier team or a, a team that was, well, you, you saw at the start of the year, we were, we were, picked by some of the hockey people as being maybe one of the most exciting teams, you know, in the world to watch, let alone college hockey. I mean, with the, with the prospects that we had and the skill set that we had, you know, we were given uh, lots of expectations just based on the talent that we had. And, and you know, last year uh, was a learning year for all of us. I think everybody expected us to do better, including myself. Uh, we didn't live up to those expectations. Some of the reasons we didn't was we didn't, we didn't mature fast enough. We were a young team that played very immature, and 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 uh, um, it was a lesson for me, and like I said, for our team. So this year's team doesn't look quite as attractive as far as the the offensive, you know, firepower. Maybe you lose a Turcotte and a Kalnick and a Miller, and and you think, well, geez, they, you know, they lost a lot of their scoring, and then you say, well, they got Bice and they got Holloway and they got Weisbach and they got Caulfield and they got Baker and they got, you know, so we you go on and on. I think we got you know a lot of forwards there that have potential to have really big years. Obviously, Cole had the biggest one last year, leading the league in scoring, and he's coming back as a sophomore. So we, I think, we're fine offensively. I think where we have to be better. Uh, as a group is both power play and penalty kill and we had all that skill on the power play last year uh, and we didn't share enough we, we we did things that were were like i said a few seconds ago we're immature and and you know this year i, I feel better about how our team is practiced i feel better how, how our team is acting um, we haven't played a game yet so the test will come when we drop the puck next friday but but I think what we learned last year uh, were lessons that, that we took seriously. We discussed a lot. Um, our leadership group uh, has had lots of different meetings, you know, as a group, you know, with lots of different players at times to try to, uh, you know, move forward from what happened last year in a positive way. And that's that's the way I feel right now. So when you go into a season like that, you know, the, the, you talk about the fours. I, I love our decor from the standpoint. I think there's players that are – hard to play against. They're simple uh, players that understand the pride in keeping the puck out of your net. And you can, you know, you look at the shot blocking mentality that Inamoto has and that, you know, Ty Emerson has. And, you know, I think Josh S is a guy that's ready for another great year. Borlicki came in last year and was pretty solid for a freshman, gave us some great minutes. And then you had uh, Pelton, who I think has waited his time by by doing things right. Didn't want to jump ahead, and, and, but just worked his rear end off in practice to be ready for his opportunity. Uh, he played a few games for us last year, but his development and, and what he's going to bring to the table is going to be just like Inamoto, just like uh, Emerson from the the. the, the courage of, of of being hard to play against and then i think anthony care who's a young defenseman that we add to our lineup is, is going to make us a really solid group of six and then you got a couple guys that uh, that are, are adept defensemen that i think will, will play this year and luke lamaster who's coming in as a freshman and and shay donovan as well so so i think we're pretty solid back there and you mentioned the goaltenders we've got three new goaltenders uh robbie badoon is going to be the one that's going to uh, get the most opportunity to take the net over just because he's he's a, a grad transfer that that has some great experience. Uh, he's he's an older goaltender, uh, mm -hmm. so I think he's ready for that challenge that we need in the, in the net. And then Camaro, uh, who has had a really solid first month and a half on, on the ice uh, with our team, um, is ready to get starts as well. And then we have Ben Garrity, who who we think you know, he came from the North American League could be, give us a lot of depth at that position. So I'm real happy with, with the way things have progressed. We're healthy. Uh, we're ready to go. Hey, thanks a lot for your time. We wish you the best this season, and uh, hopefully I get to see you at the ring sometime soon. I like that. Thanks, Brian. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's uh, Wisconsin head coach Tony Granato.